Are you wondering what a teacher read aloud is all about? In this video, I'm going to share with you exactly what it is and why it's so important in your classroom. I'm Angela Griffith and I help teachers create positive learning experiences for the students in their classroom. Don't forget to subscribe, tap the like button, and click the bell to get notified anytime I drop new videos. Reading a book to a group of engaged students was always how I pictured teaching in my mind, but I definitely learned the hard way that it's much more difficult than it looks. So a read aloud is just simply the teacher reading to students. Read alouds bring students together in order to listen to, Think about, talk about, and share stories, poems, and charts. Students get to not only hear, but watch a fluent reader in action. Listening to stories is one way for students to enjoy many different books at many different levels and across reading genres. If students have reading experiences from home, it builds on that and if they do not have many experiences coming in, then it lays a great foundation for them. So what's the purpose of a read aloud? And I want to clarify that word purpose for just a minute. A lot of times we read books to touch on our literacy standards, but it goes even deeper than that. Even if you've never asked about the characters, the setting of the story, or what the author's purpose was for writing the story, meaning you're just reading the book for fun, that is totally okay. Conducting read alouds accomplishes many things such as being surrounded by quality literature. Now sometimes this means we need to bypass what's been popular before or what everybody else on Instagram is reading. You are modeling print awareness, therefore they are developing print awareness. Read alouds are also huge in improving the listening skills of your students. How many of you have students who struggle with just simple listening skills? Students begin to understand the language of books and also the structure of poetry, nonfiction text, and realistic fiction. So now that we know the purpose of a read aloud, what else comes along with it? Your read aloud will promote reading in your classroom. Once students see that you are excited about books, it's definitely contagious. How many times have we seen students who were not a fan of read aloud time and it becomes their favorite part of the day? Then they start asking you if you can read books about specific topics. It also brings your class together. Nothing says community like a bunch of kids together on a carpet listening to a story. It is a safe space in our classroom where all children are welcome and it creates a space for shared experiences that students will talk about all year. One of the things that I love about a read aloud is that it increases your students' vocabulary. I know that it definitely did for me as a young reader. I have seen a serious decline in the level of vocabulary that my students have when they enter my classroom. It is not as rich as it used to be and I definitely blame this on tablets. But we can build their base of vocabulary words through our read alouds. It sparks conversations. Students begin to make text-to-self connections and text-to-text -text connections. As an avid reader myself, it opened up a world of possibilities. So we give them windows to other worlds. Tell me in the comments below, what's your favorite part of reading aloud to your students? In the next video, I'm going to share with you different teaching strategies for your read aloud time. See you guys next time.